Hello and welcome. So I've just filmed my top five, like my five products that I bought this year and never used. And then I thought, let's do my top 10 favorite products of this year that I've bought. And this was so much easier for me. I just, I have so many favorites. So I'm gonna start off with foundation. I put this in the same category because I think these are very comparable formulas. The Fenty Beauty and I Wear Shade 150 and this is the Maybelline Super, what is it? Super Stay Full Coverage. They both go on really nice and they both last a really long time. I'm really oily and I'm quite fond of both of these. I still need to use this one a, a bit more before I get like a more formed opinion of it, but I am in love with the Fenty foundation. My all time favorite primer of the year has been the Smashbox Primerizer. It's just, it feels like it does something more than just a primer. Like when it goes on, it feels like water. I really like it, it's weird. So I'm not sure if it improves the longevity of anything, but I enjoy the sensation. Moving, yeah, this, this is a bit of an odd assortment. My favorite lip purchase of the year has been the Joys of Christmas pack from Too Faced. I'm wearing, I believe it's pumpkin spice right now. And I just love these. This is a beautiful formula. These are amazing. If you can get this pack still, I highly recommend it. They are so complimentary. And if you can't, then, you know, you've got to buy a full size, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this has been one of my favorite purchases of this year by far. This one is a, a bit of a rediscovery for me. It's pretty old. I'm pretty sure it's expired. But this is the Lancome Blush Subtle in Mauve Coquette. This is the year that I realized I really like a cool tone, mauve blush. Is there any pigment? And you see the, it's this one here. It's just very subtle, but I don't know. I love the effect when I put it on. I'm not wearing it today, but I love this blush. It's beautiful. This one is a weird love. And this is the Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Highlighter. I actually wear this one a lot and that's why it looks filth. Like how gross. But I do love the compact and it is a very transparent glittery highlighter. My perspective when it comes to highlighters is that people can see when you're wearing it. Like why not wear glitter? Because it's a fun sort of texture. It's like you can leave your finger marks in it but it's not a full putty. And it's just weird. But I love the effect that it gives me. I love what it does. It looks really pretty to me, I think. And I really enjoy a very glittery highlight. That's just my personal preference. I'm also in love with the compact. I think the compact is beautiful. When I bought this, I wasn't expecting to buy it. I'd just gone in to pick up the new Gloss Bomb, the Diamond Milk, and then I saw it, this, and fell in love. And I'm still in love. So I'm very happy with this purchase, even though it costs a crazy amount of money. <laughs> On the glitter bandwagon, this is definitely not a release from this year, but this has been one of my all time favorite glitters. And if I ever wear this glitter, I get so many compliments on it. And this is the MAC glitter in iridescent white. This glitter is magic. It picks up the color of whatever eyeshadow that you put it underneath or whatever it's touching. You would have seen me use it in the past, but say you put it on a yellow eyeshadow, it picks up a lot more of the yellow reflex and then enhances it, and it's just stunning. This is my favorite glitter of all time. I feel like if you own this glitter, you don't need any other glitter because it goes with everything. I just realized that one of the products rolled away from me and I didn't notice, so I'm just gonna add it in here. This is the KKK Contour Stick in Light. I've never wound it out the full way. I have watched Tati's, Tati's, Tati's video on this. And, well, let's see, let's see while we're here. I bought this online as an impulse purchase when I bought the, what is it, the KKK Mario palette. And I was like, oh, let's give it a try. That's about as far as it comes out and then it goes right back in. 
This is a beautiful contour. I'm wearing it right now. This is a beginner contour. Anyone can pick this up and use it, absolutely. And you're not gonna mess up your contour. I've tried doing contour so many different ways and screwed it up, but this works every time. I love it. And this would be number eight, a brush. A very, very expensive brush that I only pull out when I'm feeling like being fancy. This is the Sonia D Worker One brush and it is beautiful. I love this brush. It just blends away so nicely and it feels really luxurious. This is a very luxurious purchase though and I don't recommend it if, if you don't love a really beautiful brush like I do. But this is, this is, this is, that's all I can say. It's beautiful and it does such an amazing job of blending. I love the way it feels, especially on my old, like, I know I'm 30, I've got a lot of loose skin. This prevents any of that skipping from happening because it just glides so beautifully. I definitely recommend this brush if you can afford, essentially it's $50 US or $70 Australian from Beautylish. I think it's worth it though. And number nine, potentially controversial Cavendi <laughs> but this is the 10 year reunion palette I can't I can never be 100% sure that I've gotten the shade names right when I use this palette because I'm not very good at back front Ugh, it's just it's a bit too hard for my brain but I've seen people say that they hated this palette and I don't know why it has such a beautiful color story and it's so complimentary to so many different looks. If I'm struggling to find a color, I open this up and I can usually find something that's gonna help me in the mattes or the glitters. This is one of the first palettes I open before I do any of my looks and to see if I can use it because it's really versatile and it's got some beautiful shades that I just love. And the Kat Von D eyeshadow formula is amazing. It's hard to admit, but it's true. <laughs> And number 10 is the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. I forgot to show you the other side. Yep. This is a look. I did five looks, one palette with this. The only shade that sucks is Frostbite. If you see it in store, swatch it. It's funny. But I like the look I ended up doing when I did use it anyway. But I do love pinks and browns together. It's got some really pretty duochromes in here, like Hot Toddy is a pink gold shift. And I think Spiced Rum is something. Well, it's more just a cool toned olive, but how, how beautiful are they? This palette smells lovely. I love it. And it's a really nice everyday palette with a little bit of a kid kick to it. Where I don't mind. I do like. I like it. It's cutesy. Anyway, that is 10 of my favorite products from this year. Let me know what some of your favorite products were from this year. Did you try any of the stuff that I just talked about? And what do you think of it? I'd absolutely love to know your thoughts. If you disagree with me, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it and adore you. Mwah. Thank uh you. -huh.